Welcome Inside Operating 2 at Charlton Methodist Medical Center. You are joining us for a live surgery event. I am proud to be a part of the Methodist Health System and to join our colleagues as we give you an inside look at breast cancer management. You're looking at Dr. Allison D. Pasquale, who has the opportunity to work within the Methodist Health System and with Texas Oncology Texas Breast Specialist. She is practicing and underway on providing excellent breast care for one of our patients who we will introduce shortly. She's been working on the patient now for an hour and a half, preparing for the breast surgery, checking and evaluating the lymph nodes. I want to take a moment and highlight our real hero today, Mrs. Sonia Johnson. Mrs. Johnson is a lovely 50-year-old mother and grandmother from DeSoto, Texas. She has a family history of breast cancer, so she has been vigilant about her breast care and obtaining her yearly mammograms. In January, she noticed an area of abnormality and concern in the left breast and underwent her medical examinations. She was detected with breast cancer and diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, which could be an aggressive form of breast cancer. In preparation for today's surgery, she has completed chemotherapy to create shrinkage of the tumor to allow Dr. De Pasquale the opportunity to surgically remove the area from the breast and do a check and evaluation of the lymph nodes. One of the key questions you asked was how does surgery today different from surgery in the past? In the past, there was a need to sample and remove multiple lymph nodes from the arm. Uh, over time, as surgical techniques have improved, we have been able to identify very specific lymph nodes. By remo removing fewer lymph nodes, we are allowing patients to have less side effects and toxicity from the surgeries that's being performed. So Dr. De Pasquale has now changed positions in the operating room and this will allow her to gain access to the area of the breast that she needs to remove. Uh, the sound that you hear is, again, a new innovation in technology for identifying the localized area in the breast for removal. She has successfully removed that area. Part of the tissue that Dr. De Pasquale removed was placed into a device that's nearby the operating room table. That device is also another innovative and sophisticated tool that is being used to assist with improving outcomes for breast cancer management. And with modern surgery techniques and procedures, many of our ladies will have a short recovery in the hospital, but then may be able to go home and join their families and rest and recover well in the comfort of their own home. All of these tools we're using today help us to aid that goal. Fantastic. We're just about to do the aquaplastic closure. Dr. De Pasquale has notified us that she is doing the part of the surgery that is called oncoplastic closure. So what the oncoplastic closure allows her to do is to leave the least amount of footprint that there has been surgery performed in the breast. We want to thank you for joining us today. We hope you have been able to learn a lot through this opportunity. We were very excited to join you. We send warm wishes, high words, and huge prayers for our patient Sonia as she starts her road to recovery.